Hey welcome again to Decent TNC. If it is your first time do subscribe, like and share this video. In Uya district, the RPF Inc. Tanyi headquarters has been upgraded to a cost of 950 million Rwandan francs, which will be used for other business activities, conferences, sports and other development activities. The building was inaugurated in March 2022 in Bukananyana village in Butari Salin and Goma sector. It consists of three adjacent buildings including one built underground. It is being built on an area of 1,532 square meters, will have 17 rooms including 8 offices and 3 other meeting rooms including a reception for 800 people. It is a building that is expected to be completed within a year and will have easy access to people with disabilities. It will include an elevator that helps people get up to speed. There are also dressing rooms, a gym, a library, a place to grab a drink, a cup of tea and more including a rest area and a car park. Uya District Mayor and Chairperson of the RPF Inc. Tanyi in Uya District, Sabadeje Anji, said that the RPF Inc. Tanyi should be an example in all respects and have a clear office. The family has a clear vision of the temple, but not only in the office, but also in the community, he said. He said the building was in line with the National Development Goals for Kigali and complied with the recently approved Uya City Plan. It is being built by members themselves Sibidashe said the building was being built by members of the RPF Inc. Tanyi and Uya district itself, and was expected to be completed on time. It simply came to our notice then. Everything you have seen has been done based on the capacity of the members. Based on the number of 230,000 members in Uya district, he said that each contributes 1,000 Rwandan francs per month, within three months they get all the money to build it. He said it was all about campaigning so that all members could understand and understand the construction project and its importance. Deputy Ruakana Albert praised the project of the palace and said that he would also contribute to the expedition. I feel as though the members sitting here are contributing to our needs and it would be a shame if we attended them in the year we dedicated ourselves, the member here is not yet cement or charcoal, he said. Senator Havu Jamana Emanuel said a pledge meeting should be held for donors and a bank account number would be set up through it. I feel it is appropriate to have a meeting like the pledge, with the members attending one by one saying I give two bags of cement as much as everyone can. Please help us by giving us an account number that one can go through and get support. On Sunday June 5, 2022, members of the RPF Inkotanyi Anuya District gathered at a campaign meeting to improve performance and cooperation.